Here's problem 16, 15. For the transverse wave, described by y equal to 0.15 sine pi over 16, 2x minus 64t in SI units, determine the maximum transverse speed of the particles of the medium. This is our wave function. Equal to 0.15 sine, and then we can think of this as something kx minus omega t of that form. If we want the transverse velocity as the derivative of the wave function with respect to time, it's the derivative of the y position with respect to time, and that'll be 0.15 cosine kx minus omega t, and then by the chain rule, we're going to have a negative omega left over from the derivative of what's inside the function with respect to t. So this is going to be 0.15 times a negative 64 pi divided by 16 cosine kx minus omega t or we could say that this is going to be a negative 0.6 because 4 times 0 0.15 0 0.6 pi cosine kx minus omega t is our transverse velocity and if we want the maximum transverse velocity We'll take the magnitude of this at the maximum possible value, which is going to be the magnitude of 0.6 pi, and then the magnitude of cosine kx minus omega t, maximum possible value for the cosine function is 1. It can never be greater than 1. So really our maximum value is just going to be omega times a in terms of value, 0.6 pi meters per second or 1.88 meters per second. So our maximum transfer speed, just like simple harmonic motion, is going to equal omega times a for that part of the motion, which in this case is 1.88 meters per second.